Welcome back to the channel. We are on our mission to find the best fitness clothing for running and for bodybuilding and for weightlifting. Ultimately, I'm just trying out all these clothes so that you don't have to order it, try it on, say that you don't like it, and then have to return it. Everyone's biggest annoyance, right? And today, holy f we've got a crazy, crazy brand that I'm trying on. Satisfy Running came across my desk. Someone recommended it to me. And I took a look at it and I said, I have to try these clothes. And the reason why is because they are the most expensive fitness clothes I have ever, ever, ever seen. I spent $800 on four items. And I am so excited to see if these items could possibly hold up to their price tag. I think the answer is no, but we're gonna try them on. And then I'm probably just gonna be returning them immediately. So. Let's jump right into it. I also can't find a lot of information on the brand. I know that they're foreign because the default when you go there is maybe French, I wanna say. Okay, very pretty packaging. Okay, I know exactly what we're gonna start with and that is the Rippy three inch trail shorts because they are the most expensive shorts I've ever seen. They are $240, 240. I, <laughs> ah! Let's try them on, see how they are. I'm not gonna bother taking my shoes off because I only have one pair of shorts. I can only afford to try one pair of shorts. There are numbers. They're designed in Paris for running. Zero, one, two, three, and four, and this is a one. Maybe they're unisex, so they're like, or maybe they're just technically like women's shorts. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay, so here are my first impressions. This is like a nice little decoration. It's not a short, it's super thin. It feels like really cool, and they, they, I'd say like they look pretty nice, honestly. I am recognizing these. I feel like people who go to like fancy gyms in New York, like Dog Pound or whatever, wear these shorts. I feel like they must. The under layer is so thin and so soft. I can imagine that this is like a very, very expensive material. So I guess maybe like the price tag is representative of how expensive the materials are, but still the idea that you'd even make something like this is just unnecessary. Like we treat our clothes pretty roughly at the gym. And so it's not like this is like high fashion. I don't know, it's just, okay. So they've got this nice little carabiner here. They've also got this like double layer of a waistband. So that's my underwear, but this is built into the short. And then you put that on top and then you can have a nice little like fashion thing. I don't know. They don't have any pockets. Oh, except for this little pocket back that I think you can put your credit card in. Yep, that is the only thing that would fit in there. Weird that this kind of like puffs out. What is that? Oh, oh, it does have a little pocket thing. Maybe you can put your AirPods in there. That seems like a weird place for a pocket. And then it's, I think it's on the other side too, yeah. I mean, they're not really pocket type shorts. I don't know why they felt like they needed to do that. Okay, we're keeping these on. We're gonna try the rest of the stuff out. Okay, moving on. Let's start with the singlet. I'm just upset. How much do we think the singlet is? Just $130, just $130 for a tank top. It's not so bad. I'm kidding, wait, 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 too expensive. Also, I love like my, classic New York fashion look of like, basically all black. Okay, maybe I got the wrong size. Uh, maybe it's right. Are you supposed to rip this off? Yeah, I guess you do rip it off. Weird, the tags on that outside, okay. So it's got like these tiny holes in it. Nice little aeration for you. It's very soft, very stretchy. I think it looks nice as like a running tank. I don't, I would never pay $130, but it is pretty nice. It also says running cult member. Just perpetuating that whole idea that like if you exercise, you must be in a cult. Interesting. I think it's like just like a very specific brand. I think that it's a very specific group of people who would be like, I need to wear all satisfying. Okay. I get this. I don't get it for $130, but I get it. I get it. We're going into the Oral Light Long Tee. So this is a long sleeve. Right off the bat, it feels very nice. Super lightweight, recycled, Delta Peak, moisture control, fast dry, odor control fabric. Yeah, but like what is it? Made in Portugal. Hello. It also like doesn't tell you how to wash it. They're like, you must be rich if you order this. You're only gonna wear it once and then throw it away. Um, okay, nice. What's interesting is that I think the length is perfect and it seems like the arms are actually a little short. Very soft, 
tiny little satisfy thing here, that's okay. Yeah, I'm very interested in what it's made out of uh, and how to wash it. And you know, it says it's made out of, or this has like reflective material. It's 100% PES and then it says recycled. Yeah, it's fine, $160. <gasps> <laughs> I'm getting sick a little bit just thinking about it. Okay. Okay. And lastly, just one more thing. One more thing to return. This is the Cloud Moreno t shirt. No way. <laughs> oh my God. I forgot how much this was. This t shirt is $270. It's a t shirt. Oh no. Okay. Does this say what it's made out of? Moreno wool. Thermal regulation, moisture control, fast drying, raw hems to eliminate chafing. Okay, it feels very nice. It feels very lightweight. It kind of feels like I just took some pieces of fabric and put them together. How do I look? Would you wear this running? Would you wear this lifting? You know, doing a nice little clean. I guess maybe. I, I'm baffled. Yeah. Yeah, $270. And you can see through it. Like I can see my neon, well, you can see my neon shoes through me. But you can really see my shoes through the shirt. And you're like, it's not very flattering, right? I Okay, I'm so interested. Would you pay money for any of these items? Like, I, would you pay this much money? I feel like I get good fitness clothes that are like very high quality and look really nice for, you know, a quarter of the cost. And I just don't quite understand this. Maybe it's like, maybe it's the same thing as like designer where you could get a really functional handbag for, you know, a 10th of the cost of a Gucci handbag, but like you're gonna do the Gucci because it's designer. But for fitness clothes, what? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's like a lot of like signaling, like I go to the gym for your rich friends. But this was an interesting experiment. I don't suggest it. These are going back and we will continue our quest to find the best fitness clothes. I wouldn't even say like, these aren't even that good of fitness clothes when you take the price away. You know, like even if you were, even if these were like a normal price, I would still be like, mm, they're fine. Although like this liner is pretty cool. I love that it's so thin and like it feels really nice. But other than that, I'm like, nope, not into it. Also, this shirt is a little itchy. I think that's like what Merino wool does. So like, okay, okay. I will see you back next time. If you have any suggestions for fitness companies that you want me to try out, leave me a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. <laughs>